Hello, it's Darth Micro again, and today I wanted to talk about some of these kind of weird pack offers we've been seeing in this store. Normally, I'm just purchasing and opening packs, but today I wanted to talk about the expected value and just kind of my personal opinion on packs like these that include chickens, brews, and gems, and silver, and some of the other pack offers that are currently available, like the potion packs and the six star artifact packs that are currently out. And if you look at these conqueror packs that are out as well for $5, you may or may not have this one. So let's kind of get into it a little bit. And we're gonna start with the rank five chicken pack. Now this rank five chicken pack, I'm gonna start right off the bat by saying, this is not a pack that I would ever purchase at my position in my account. Meaning if you look at the characters that I currently possess on my account, I have a fairly large variety of in-game characters, either fully maxed already, or a very large variety of characters within the vault, which I could work on if I feel the need to. However, the people that would potentially use this pack offer or have been a different scenario than me um, are going to be people that are newer to the game. Now, in my personal opinion, rank five chickens aren't something you really wish to purchase unless for whatever reason you're really trying to rush a character done and you just really don't care about the money. Um, however, there is a kind of caveat to this, which is that if you are a newer player, meaning you have just started the game and you are already aware that you like this game very much and you will most likely end up spending several hundred dollars on this game. I'm not talking you're gonna put in five or $10 here or there. I'm talking, you know you like the game. Maybe you're an old time mobile game player. You know you're the type that's gonna end up putting money into the game. In that scenario, when you begin the game, rank five chicken packs are actually a fairly good deal because one of the most difficult things to do right in the beginning is to get a six star character right off the bat that's going to help you clear through the campaign and begin your farming process. Currently, my most popular video on my entire channel is do this first in Raid Shadow Legends and talks about entirely about how it's very important to get someone to clear 12-3 Brudo. Now, for $70, you can essentially get two six-star characters, and these two six-star characters, if they are good choices, could hopefully allow you to solo all of the normal, hard, and brutal campaign three stars just with the two of them, which would get you a sacred shard and all of the rewards, as well as being able to clear 12-3 Brudo, hopefully. So in that scenario, the rank five chicken pack is actually not a bad deal. If you are just starting out, you know you're gonna spend a lot of money and you're trying to boost your progress right at the beginning. Other than that, in my personal opinion, these chicken packs that include, uh, include brews are really only for things like the tournament event that we just went through where you can only get points for the tavern. And even in that scenario, uh, I would not spend money on brews or chickens for the points. Uh, I would maybe just pass on the fusion altogether if I was gonna have to spend money in order to get it. Okay, let's move on to covering these bonus potion packs. now. I have only ever purchased these packs once, and it was in a desperate attempt to close out uh, basically a superior uh, fusing mission before the keep ended, and I would have to pay like another 200 gems to keep it open. Uh, long story short is I basically never buy these packs. Now, they're not necessarily a terrible deal because 900 gems to them is worth $20. However, as we know, that's not an offer that we would really buy, but that's their offer. So essentially what they're saying is 700 gems plus 30 of each, including, you know, the white arcane potions and a million silver is worth 200 gems. And, and by that logic, it definitely is worth the 200 gems because it can be hard to get. But I just, I don't like buying... 30 of the greater potions. I mean, when you think about it, it's three of the superior if you're gonna mix them. That's not even a full third of one of the missions. I, I'm not a huge fan of these packs. Now, again, these do fall prey to the same thing that the chicken packs do where they are better the earlier on into your account when it's more difficult for you to acquire potions and they become less valuable as your account becomes more of a veteran status account. For that reason, um, I, I wouldn't recommend buying these again if you're already into the point where you can like farm. You know what I mean? If you're at the point where you can farm potions, uh, you have like a decent potion income, I, this is another thing that I would not purchase at my stage of the account. And maybe, heavy on the maybe, would purchase at the beginning just to get past some of the harder hurdles. But I mean, even then, it, it feels like a pretty bad use of $20. I'm sure that 
technically, if you put in like all the potions and the silver and all that into something like Chosen, for instance, um, you know, calculator, it would probably show, you know, a, a positive value. But for me personally, these just aren't the packs that excite me. Everyone knows I like shards, okay? Um, now let's talk about the six star artifact packs because these are interesting. Now you're going to notice this one is $35 and it offers you six six star toxic set. I would never, ever, ever, ever buy a toxic set, but if this was $35 for six of the divine speed, I might actually be tempted to pick up a set or two. The thing about gear is I've noticed that gear kind of gets a bad rep from, from myself as well as everybody else, but I've looked back and looked at some of my purchases. As everyone knows, I'm very open and honest about how much money I've spent. I've spent approximately $6,000 on this game, and less than less than a tenth of that, uh, probably less than a twentieth of that. I think I've only spent about $200 on gear out of that 6000 But that $200 of gear I am using daily. Uh, it's the Lifesteal 5-star gear helped a ton, plus the crit damage gear. I'm I'm both able to do Ultra Nightmare um, Clan Boss at 20 plus mil per auto and able to auto like Spider 20 dungeon and some of these other dungeons um, that can be more difficult. One, I have the characters, but two, the gear I have helps make those characters significantly better. And as I look back, I thought the $10 packs for the five-star epic lifesteal gear that I bought, and it let me buy nine or seven of them or something, I bought them out, were potentially the best purchases I have ever made in the game. Um, that being said, these six-star ones are even better, but $35 for six of them for Toxic, you would never, ever pay that. The three of them are going to be we already know the weapon, the helmet, and the shield are going to just be a complete gamble on the secondary stats, and it's even a worse gamble when it comes to the weapon, the chest, and the boots, because we could get stats that don't matter, and they're literally useless, okay? Now, I have purchased, um, I think, approximately $100 worth of Divine Speed gear when it was $20 each, and you got four pieces, and what I noticed was the pieces that, you know, aren't going to roll like a, like a primer, so like your, your shield, your helmet, and your weapon, I actually ended up using on a lot of characters. Like if we go and we actually look here at my champions, we look at people that I'm using, you're going to see, you know, speed sets on a lot of these guys, right? Like Bad Alcazar, there's a, you know, a helmet and a shield. If we go to Alt Town, there's a weapon and a helmet. You're going to notice a lot of these divine speed sets on my primary characters um, that are like weapon, shield, or helmet because you have a pretty good chance of getting some usable stats because you don't really have to worry about the main the main row. That being said, um, I've noticed they've been trying to do like $50 offers for these Divine Speed Packs. I've, I noticed they did a six-star Divine Speed Pack once. It was the same thing, but they want $50 for it. If it was $35, I probably would have bought one. If they're trying to get $50 for a Divine set, um, I, I would pass. But if this was here, these $35, and these are all legendary, like six-star normal speed set, maybe, maybe, okay? But I, I think $35 is really the cap when it comes to gear. For six star, it have to be six pieces, six star, and a good set. And then $35, I think, would, I, I think maybe I pull the trigger on maybe one of the sets, okay? But any more than this 35 and in a bad set, it's gonna be a no for me. Now, the final, the final pack we're gonna talk about here is this temporary $5, I don't know if everyone got this, but 65% off, $5 pack gives you a shard, 100% one day boost, a four star chicken, whatever, a clan boss key, so that's like 100 gems, three energy refills, so that's like another 120 gems, uh, three arena refills, another 120 gems, ten, you know, 10 brews, blah, blah, blah. So the shard's worth a buck, basically, you can get a shard of the day for a buck. Uh, the XP boost here, let's check in the, the gem shop here, that's 140 gems. So you can kind of just do the basic math here. Uh, so what, we got like 140 gems, a rank 4 chicken, 100 gems on this two. Yeah, yeah, so this is worth the 5 bucks, personally. I'm going to buy this one just to put my money where my mouth is. But if you're brand new to this game, this one, uh, it's probably worth it as well. You get energy refills, some chicken, etc. Although one thing that's interesting is energy refills are not as good the lower level you are because it's an energy refill, not like a flat 120 energy or something. It actually refills your energy. So if you have this offer and you're only like level 10 or something, maybe buy it, but save your energy refills till you're like in your 20s or 30s if you can, because you'll get more energy for them. But the arena tokens for me are interesting because I'm stuck on working on Arbiter. And if you look on the missions, we got to do this gray hall bonus, and that's a lot of the meadows. So for me, the five buck... Five bucks here for this Conqueror pack is worth it if you have the 65% off. If it's the full $15, it's not worth it at all, but I'm going to buy it for the five bucks. Okay, I spent the five bucks I bought it. You can see I got this stuff here, and it's just going to help me with a little bit of resources for, you know, when I get to the grind. Um, now, the next video is going to be on Molly. 
I believe, Molly and Longbeard. I owe a Longbeard guy. I was going to have one out like almost two weeks ago, but I got distracted with some real life stuff, so I apologize, guys. But Longbeard is coming. I did finish the Molly Fusion, so we are going to be talking about Molly in the future, and I'm going to start pumping out some more legendary guides, you know, slash walkthroughs, etc., you know, first impression type things, because I really got a lot of legendaries here, and I got a lot of people asking me to do videos on each of them, so I wanted to try to get a few more of those out. Thank you guys for supporting me. I'm sorry for um, being away for a bit. I love y'all. I'm trying to get back into it. The videos are, they're coming back guys, higher quality and all that. I got to move my desk and a whole bunch of stuff's going on. I'm, oh, it's just been a shit week, but you know, I, I'm trying guys. I'll see you guys on the next video and I'm going to be live streaming tonight. So hopefully I see you on the live stream. Love you guys. Bye-bye.